curing this disease causes shingles. The problem with modern medicine is that when doctors try to cure one disease with medication, it causes side effects that can lead to another disease. According to a new study, this is exactly the case with shingles. Shingles occurs when the herpes zoster virus, after lying dormant in your body, reactivates and causes painful blisters. You are most at risk when your immune system is compromised, as it then cannot stop virus reactivation. A new study in the journal Cancer has just shown how, for example, radiation therapy for cancer puts us at risk of shingles. The researchers mined data from a Japanese institutional cancer registry and medical records between 2011 and 2015. They identified 17,655 cancer patients whom they divided into a radiation therapy group and a non-radiation therapy group. They could then compare them to see who would go on to develop shingles. In the first year after the beginning of the radiation therapy, 2.1% and 0.7% of radiation therapy and non-radiation therapy patients, respectively, developed shingles. After two years these percentages were 3.0% versus 1.0%, after three years 3.4% versus 1.3%, after four years 4.1% versus 1.7%, and after 5 years 4.4% versus 1.8%. This shows clearly that a larger percentage of radiation therapy patients suffered from shingles than the non-radiation therapy patients did. The researchers concluded that radiation therapy patients were 2.5 times more likely to have shingles than the non-radiation therapy patients did. When they looked at the location of the shingles outbreaks, they found that these were often at or very close to the site where the radiation therapy was applied. But most people who develop shingles didn't undergo radiation therapy. So there is another reason, more obvious and easier to manage to eliminate shingles, as I explain on description.